You're going to have to forgive me today. I am beginning to lose my voice. But I thought this video was interesting enough to risk doing it. And maybe you don't hear or understand half of what I say. So here we have Biden at the G7. And I don't know who all the people are around him. I do know who Biden and Macron are. And I thought this interaction was interesting and something to be made aware of. One of the things I found very interesting is that he's having this conversation with reporters and recording everything what's being said. And you can't see it yet, but you will, is that Macron is not allowing Biden to walk forward. He's holding him at his arm and he's pretty much forcing him to stay within range of the cameras, knowing that he's being recorded. According to us, the Saudis can increase a little bit, but one or fifty or a little bit more from there. They don't have you. And you see where he's being held. And then the other people are in front, pretty much blocking the way. So they're not allowing movement away from the cameras as well. Now, I know that Macron is kind of snaky. He's a little sneaky and conniving in the way he does things. Because he's very aware of who hears him, how things look, all of that nonsense. So to do this in this arena with an audience that is worldwide, something is up. At this stage, before six months time. The last one. So Biden is moving forward. He doesn't want to have this conversation out here. I know we all like to sit there and make fun of Dementia Joe. He's losing it, but he hasn't lost it. And there is a difference because he does not want to have this conversation in front of cameras, which is why you see him step forward. He pulls himself away from Macron. Macron lets go, but he's being blocked by the other participants in this conversation. This can increase a little bit, but one or fifty or a little bit more from there. They don't have huge capacities. So it looks like the gentleman with the name tag is trying to get them to stop or Macron to stop the conversation as well, which is triggered to Biden to try and get away as well. At this stage, before six months time. And he looks away, name tag guy, because he doesn't want to have this conversation anymore. The other ones are not moving. They want to have this conversation, apparently in front of cameras. The last one. The, 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 very, the very last point is about uh, what we do on the Russian oil. Okay. You told me that we should. Thank you. So we saw a giant cut because we have no idea where this woman came from. Apparently they took a photograph together. We also see after this big cut is that Macron is hooked back onto him. So he's taken that opportunity to dig his hooks back in and continue whatever talking point he was doing. We don't know what it was. So it would have been interesting to hear the rest of it. And then the, I'm assuming the security starts pushing back and all right, we're leaving. Conversation is done. Which to me says it wasn't just Macron involved in having this conversation here. It was like a concerted effort of a we moment to have the conversation out and just other people not knowing that this conversation was going to be out for the cameras and audio to pick it up. The point I'm trying to make, this is not a hot mic moment. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Also, to let everyone know, we've updated the website and it should be much faster now.